launching, and we're under 30 minutes away from the planned release of the SpaceX Dragon vehicle. Uh, the release window will actually open up right at 3.58 a.m. Central Time, 4.58 a.m. Eastern. Snares open. Begin monitoring for drift out. You can see the gap slowly opening, so the release coming right on time, 3.58 a.m. Central Time, 4.58 a.m. Eastern. The station flying about 260 statute miles over the Earth, just to the south of Australia. Back off in progress. Now the arm commanded it's backing away from Dragon, which remains in this free drift. Getting a good view of the capsule portion of SpaceX's Dragon. Dragon depart commanded. And departure burn number two underway. And so two departure burns in the book, one more to go. As SpaceX's Dragon continues to fly away now from the International Space Station, where it's resided for the last several weeks. Everything continuing to go smoothly. Dragon still flying away from the station. It'll eventually get outside of what's known as the keep out sphere. It's a sphere with a radius of about 200 meters that just dictates the rules that are in place for trajectories for visiting spacecraft when they're that close to the station. And then following that, it'll get a little bit further and eventually get out of what's known as the uh, approach ellipsoid. Third burn coming up shortly. First two went very smoothly. An on-time release. Again, that release at 3.58 a.m. Central Time, 4.58 a.m. Eastern. Station Houston on two, departure burn three is complete. Dragon is outside the keep-out sphere. And you just heard the call, Dragon's third and final departure burn done successfully. It's now out of the keep-out sphere. Vehicle actually over 300 meters away now from the space station.